is the Tad Show. I feel like you need a wrestling person involved with wrestling operations in the front office. And I think you feel the same because of your text, but why don't you elaborate? Well, I mean, to me, and I'm a, I'll jump right over. Uh, me and you are both uh, in NFL, like like millions and millions of fans. Yep. Uh, but but when you get right down to it, uh, it, it, you know, the buck has to stop with somebody in any good organization. I don't care if it's Apple or Microsoft or wrestling or, or, or a gas station or a tire station or an right. accounting firm, whatever. You have to have a buck stops there with someone. And, and right here in, in Tennessee uh, with the Titans, we've got a, a new GM, a, a new guy who's making personnel decisions, and he is, quote, unquote, a football guy. Mm. Uh, he, he was, uh, you know, basically mentored in the Patriot system, uh, John Robinson with the Tennessee Titans, and now yep. he's down here. And he, he makes football-based decisions. And I think in wrestling, because it's so much more of a niche business, you, you ultimately absolutely have to have that. You referenced it. Paul Heyman took pictures of, of, of wrestlers when he was in his teenage years. Yep. He's a wrestling-based guy. I, I grew up, whether I loved it or hated it, and I loved it, for the record, but I was around, you know, uh, the, the, not just my old man, but the Jerry Lawlers. And, yeah. You know, the, uh, you could go on and on. Vince McMahon, uh, he's third generation. And, and when, you, when you look at that, and now, you know, Shane and Stephanie and, yeah. and all that, yeah, you have to have that fundamental. And I'll go ahead and, and take it up another notch. When you get in a room with another wrestler, uh, it, 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 it's just so simplistic. Who leads? Who's the ultimate decision maker in a match? <laughs> exactly. it's, the, yeah. it, it's, the, it's the veteran. If the veteran doesn't make the calls, and it's not because, oh, you're high and mighty and, and all this, but, but Taz, me and you, and, and, a, and a bunch of I, you know, I'm not as old as you. Not as old as <laughs> <laughs> not, not not as old as Bubba in, in, in your generation, but I grew up watching you guys. You and said Bubba. So, you did say Bubba, right? Uh, oh, he'll he'll be all yeah. over me for that. We, we've we've got the same birthday. We're ten years apart, but he's oh, ten years older. So come but on. no, you, come you have on. to you have to have that decision making, and, and and it's because we've been there and done that, and we've been out on the road, and we've wrestled in front of five people or five thousand, yep. or, or, or or whatever it may be. And so trial by error means so much. Yep. It really, really does mean so much. And so that that's my take on it. And that's why, you know, I text you, and I, I, you're spot on, because wrestling people need to make wrestling decisions. And ultimately, none of us make right decisions. We don't bat a thousand by any means. But, you know, the greatest baseball players in the world – that 300, that's 3 out of 10, they're pretty damn successful. And I'm not saying that's in the wrestling business, but generally experience is, is the best feature of wisdom. I completely agree. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's a it's a deal where, uh, look, I, I appreciate all the people that maybe don't, they obviously don't have that history of having that legacy of being in a business and all that stuff, but they have a passion for it and they have money or they have a desire. I, I love that. I think that's great. You know, but you got to let wrestling people run wrestling companies. I just It's just the way it goes. I don't care if it's, it's, it's 2007, 2017, uh, 1997, whatever year it is, it don't matter. There's a ring. There's two guys or two girls working. It's wrestling at the end of the day.